Hello and welcome to another learning episode uh, by Dr. Kadiba Education Center. Uh, today we are going to solve this question. If you have never subscribed to this channel, I believe this is a, uh, the best chance uh, to do so. Click the subscribe icon, activate the notification bell so that you will be notified every time we upload a new video. So let's dive in. We are given a question here that an elevated water tank has a capacity of 5,000 liters has a natural period in lateral vibration of one second when empty. Note that it's when it's empty. When the tank is full of water, its period lengthens to 2.2 seconds. You are required to determine the lateral stiffness of the tower and the weight of the tank. Uh, neglect the mass of the supporting columns. Of course, now we assume the mass, I mean the columns are massless, they just uh, provide the stiffness. So let's see the typical solution for this. This is a question that was uh, given in uh, an exam I awarded five marks. So let's see, it's a simple question. Um, free vibration of uh, single degree of freedom cases. Let's see the solution. Uh, the solution now, it's always good to uh, idealize uh, graphically what your problem is. So you're saying there's an elevated tower, they have got a weight W, and um, this tank, of course, have got a mass. Of the mass of these is uh, not the mass actually, the capacity is 5,000 liters, so the volume. Of course, the density is one, uh, okay, uh, grams per centimeter cubed. So, basically, meaning uh, we can be able to obtain uh, the weight, right? So, this is the physical system. So, this is the physical system. This is the dynamic model representation, okay? So, in this case, we are saying the stiffness provided by the quorum, we can represent using a spring. There is no damping, so that's why we do not have a dashboard here, okay? And then uh, this is the mass, of course, this will be as the weight of the water and the tank and uh, this is the motion the motion this direction u so let's see again what you are given you're given the period for the empty tank is uh, one second when it's full it changes to 2.2 you're given the volume 5000 liters so basically it's saying you can find the weight which is just uh, the volume times the uh, uh, g the gravitational constant giving you 49050 newtons right then uh, you are required to obtain the lateral stiffness of the tower okay the k here this value k and uh, also the weight of the tank okay so the natural frequency of course when the tank is empty we can start there uh, of course frequency agira frequency is equals to uh, 2 pi over the period you see what happens uh, with the formula that you want to use is you look at what you have been given that's why we start by visualizing or listing down what you have been given we first visualize our problem we list down the uh, the parameters that we are given so that we know where we can start from of course the common formula that we know or we use is knowing that uh, omega is equals to the root of k of m but if we start at this stage we know that we don't have k is what we are required to calculate right but we see we are given the period t so we also know that uh, uh, omega is the same as 2 pi over the period okay so you see in this case now it's very easy to come up with that so natural frequency 2 pi over so when it's empty 2 pi over te is the same as of course kg remember i am this one the period is the same as you express it using the weight this is k of mass is equals to w weight over g so this is why you have g here Okay, so this is we can call this equation one. Then uh, the same case we can calculate the frequency, agra frequency, when it's uh, full or filled uh, with water. Okay, let me just erase this to have this space for working. So look at the equation one that we have just created. Then we move when it's full of water. Uh, when it's full of water, full tank. Again, the period length lengthens to 2.2, right? So the same expression we have uh, uh, the in this rule of water okay k of uh, weight eh? now the weight is both of the weight of the tank wt plus the weight of the water now it we calculated uh, to be um, the, the 5000 liters which came to 40 0, 50 newtons so you have equation one and two so what now we do because we want to calculate what is the weight of the tank here and you see equation one if I can just bring it here, equation one was uh, uh, W, or W when it's empty is equals to, let me just write it here. So you're saying W when it's uh, omega empty 
is equal to um, the root of kg over the weight of the tank. Okay, that's equation one. So you can see uh, for this equation, both equation, of course, we have this value here. Okay, these are unknown. Eh? So you make kg the subject of the formula in equation one and two. Okay, and then you equate the two equations, right? So this basically means from equation one, if you make kg the subject, you're going to have uh, kg is equals to you square both sides. So you're going to get uh, this is when it's empty. Uh, remember when it's empty is uh, two pi. So this is uh, two pi over one or just two pi. Okay. So if if this equation here, if you look at this equation here right yes equals to 2 pi so if you are to make kg the formula the subject the formula here you just get kg is equals to 2 pi uh so this is squared over uh, actually not over this is uh times uh w t and this is capital w the weight of the tank of the tower right um the, yeah the weight of the tank so the same case you can make kg for the equation 2 the subject of the formula and once you make kg here the subject and the kg we have made it for equation 1 you can equate the two expressions eh? so you can equate the two so equating the two meaning uh just erase this so that we have a working area again so if we equate the two and um and making the subject of formula and equate the two, you're going to get this expression here. Okay, we have this uh, expression quite clear here. So in this case, now you see we just have uh, omega t, uh, w t, and this same. This w here is a. Uh, uh, this is w t. So w t is only unknown, and in that case, we can be able to evaluate what is the weight of the tank. So quite simple, quite simple. Then let's see. Uh, how about the stiffness? We know from equation one, of course, you remember the equation one was like this. Uh, that when the tank is empty, 2 pi over t, we are looking where we have kg as the only unknown because now we have calculated uh, w t or the weight of the, uh, the, the, the tank. So, this meaning from this equation, we can be able to make kg or obtain, uh, not kg, obtain the stiffness k from our calculation. And looking at this, we just make it. Uh, at the subject here of the formula k from this formula here okay and you are able to obtain uh the expression then you just substitute the values of weight of the tank which you are calculated in the previous slide and of course g you get this the stiffness of the system and that's all so it was just a simple and a straightforward question thank you for tuning in subscribe for more and uh activate the notification bell so that you'll be notified next when i upload another learning episode thank you